Hello friends, welcome to the another video of this key clock series. So today I am going to come up with a new topic called as passwordless or login without a password. Let's suppose you have an application or a Angular application or React application or, or any uh, UI application where you want a user to log in without a password. So key clock has a feature uh, with this we uh, we will be able to log in without a password so let's see how it is possible so let's suppose this is a user screen and uh, we have an email text box and a login button uh, once we click on a login button the call will go to key clock and it will generate a link and it will send to your email okay and once you open an email and click on the link then it will automatically logs you to your website so this is the uh, so this is the link it will generate like a uh, it will it is localhost because i have tested on localhost and customer is the name login action action token and this key key is a unique action token which is generated and the client id is demo client so this is the magic uh, it does it, it it's called as uh, other name we call it as a magic link also and uh, this is the key which it generates and uh, once the user clicks on this link automatically user will be logged in to your website so let's see how it can be done okay before starting uh, let me show you my key clock uh, environment so customer is a ream okay and the client uh, is the demo client it is a public client and these are the valid redirect URI. Uh, I have given 4200 because I have try I was trying in Angular. Okay, and this is a public client. As per my last video, in my last video, I have shown uh, done some example on Spring Boot and uh, Angular. If somebody wants to see, they can uh, go and see the last video. Okay, and because we will be using the same Angular code with this, so roles are there. Uh, ream roles are there scopes are there advanced nothing is there okay and we have two users test zero test zero one gmail dot com test two this okay and here attribute nothing is there credential okay role mapping role admin and role manager so this is the uh, key clock setup and on the authentication also it is all everything is built in nothing has been done okay and now let's see the angular thing with like a how uh, we'll use that okay now let's try to access the angular ui and see what is happening so this is the angular url uh, admin and manager we have two endpoints okay you can see it is redirected to uh, key clock test zero two okay see it is logged in and it is uh, getting the data from another microservice okay we calling it as manager it is getting the data from another microservice as per my last uh, video nothing changed and uh, we can see this user here also okay sessions uh, sessions are created okay it is proper if I log out and uh, if I refresh it again it will ask you to log in so this is a standard uh, uh, angular thing which is working and now I will explain how uh, passwordless will work okay and now let's see uh, now let's try to generate a magic link and see how it works so before that I want to show that, that this is a test user okay and we can see no sessions are there so it is it is like it's not logged in okay and now let me open my postman and in a postman you can see this is localhost 8080 is uh, uh, what is uh, key clock is running okay reams customer is the uh, uh, ream name and slash magic link so this is the new endpoint uh, what we have created it I will show you here we need to give the username email client ID redirect URI expiration seconds and send email so username and email we can give it same 
okay client is demo client and redirect URI after login where it redirects so 4200 slash manager okay I want it to, to be redirected expiration second when this link will be active for 600 seconds okay and uh, send email is false okay send email false means like we don't want to send an email and if it is true it will send an email also okay and in both the cases uh, API response will be getting the API response so for this example means like uh, we will be using the API response to uh, get the URL and because the mail thing we are not trying right now because after all it will be same so I I, I got the new URL okay I copied and I will open an incognito window okay here you go so you can see I am logged in because otherwise I won't be able to access this if I go to admin I am getting a different data manager I am getting a different data okay and to show you uh, we can inspect and I can show you also network calls if I refresh it yes I am getting the token payload preview okay so I am getting the access token okay so this is how your uh, passwordless login works so this can work in the uh, same window also or in incognito window also uh, anywhere it can work so now let me show you the this one uh, user okay I'm searching this user you can see session okay you can see it is a session just now it is created okay and uh, this is how your uh, passwordless login works with Keycloak now I will show you the code part uh, how the code has been done okay and uh, this is all about passwordless only and now let me show you the code part okay and uh, this is the code base means like uh, I will be uh, providing the code base on my github account so anybody can download and uh, use this uh, the concept is same we have to create a jar and uh, uh, we have to copy the jar to the uh, provider directory of a key clock and uh, it's the same way okay so here we will be using a ream resource provider factory and action token handler factory because the last time I sh uh, uh, the key which is generating it's it's nothing but an action token okay and a ream resource provider factory okay and action token handler factory these are the two things uh, we will be using it okay and in application properties nothing is there so let's jump into the code resource so magic links resource provider factory and it is a factory class and it is returning magic link uh, provider session so few classes are there base resource magic link resource so this is the main file okay so here is the uh, in a factory class we we have seen this magic link so that's why the link which are we we are generating is slash magic link so you can give anything uh, what you want so here let's see what we are doing it magic link request we can see the request a username and and all the other things we have a few uh, unwanted things are there which uh, you can ignore it okay and uh, first it is getting the client and because the client demo client we are providing it if it is uh, null then uh, not found exception is being thrown so validate redirect URI so we are validating the redirect URI also if the redirect URI if junk uh, uh, or non-existent uh, URL you provide it will not work okay and here we are getting uh, send email flag and all and here we are fetching the user from the session ream username or email okay because we are getting the email uh, getting the user object user model object with the email okay if not found then throw an error and here we are trying to generate the action token so magic link action token is a class and here we are providing the client ID redirect URI expiration seconds uh, scope nonce uh, state remember me and uh, 
action token persistent flag okay so let's see this class okay and this is the class and the magic link action token is the standard one meant like a, a, a standard thing how it is done and you can see this is a standard class and which is we are extending from default action token so few standard things are are happening just we need to uh, uh, call the proper constructor and uh, call the super okay and there is nothing much so main lo main logic is here only so once the token is generated and uh, then we are getting the link link also it is simple URI info means like uh, URI info base URL because for me it is uh, localhost 8080 so that's why 8080 is coming and here we are serializing the session ream and URI info okay and this token issued for okay and here uh, we are generating the link and this link if send email is true and the magic link send uh, email okay else means like uh, we are uh, sending a response here and this is the mail logic okay you can use any logic you want because this is a standard thing uh, and that's why I have not showed with the email uh, but, uh, but the link is there you can uh, you can uh, design your own HTML or any anything you want means like uh, as per your thing you can do okay and let me show you the other things few magic link is a helper class maybe okay and let me show you this is the get user what you have used create action token so this is not being used uh, yeah this this is being used okay and these are very standard things and uh, yes so link from action token we have seen validate redirect URI we have seen and uh, this also we have seen action token builder and this is a send mail logic okay and uh, this is very standard thing and uh, but there is a case like how how the token is validated so token is validated with action token handler factory so this is inside this so this is the handler class okay and magic thing action token handler and here we have over we need to override few things okay basic things like uh, this is the constructor and uh, start authentication this, this, this is very simple uh, we don't need to do much and this is the handler token so this is the main thing main logic where uh, it verifies the token it verifies the token how uh, uh, whether it is valid or not and uh, based on that uh, it will mark you as authenticated so this is the main thing so don't worry about uh, this code and uh, I will be providing the code and on the github link I will be giving it okay and uh, now we'll check whether uh, we'll keep the uh, uh, okay and this is all about the code part and uh, now let's check one more thing and let me go back to postman and here you can see that uh, we have one field expiration second so uh, this tells like uh, how long the link is valid so I have given five seconds here and the link already I have generated so let me copy the link and uh, show you I have opened incognito window and here it is we can see the key clock is giving an error like uh, action expired okay and with this we can control means like uh, so that uh, your link can cannot be used uh, too long means like uh, the best is like uh, give it for five minutes or two minutes based on the user needs and in this way uh, uh, we can control uh, means like uh, we can control the unauthorized access means like for the user login okay and uh, with this i'm going to end my video so please do like and share and uh, let me know how you like the video 
and uh, I'm going to come up with some more videos uh, regarding authentication uh, going forward. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thanks for watching the video.